And Jim, on stop trading on Squawk in the Street, you talked about Twitter. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I have this Twitter direct initiative that I was part of a test. And it allowed you to be able to find out a little more about the people who hassled you because there is tremendous hassle and they're discontinuing on July 7th. Why is this important? Okay, Ed Sheeran has pulled out of Twitter because of the attacks, the trolls. Uh, Roy McElroy because the attacks, the trolls. And I'm concerned that uh, Twitter's going up here. I'm concerned that Twitter may make its numbers by continuing to have blind, anonymous attacks which generate a lot of, of interest. And I think that the reason why I like Facebook and Instagram so much is it's a much more benevolent uh, environment. Snap is too. Uh, does Twitter need to make its numbers uh, by continuing with anonymous uh, attacks? Or is Twitter actually uh, something going on? I have said that Jack Dorsey uh, has done his work at Square. Uh, Sarah Fryer doing a remarkable job as CFO at Square. I have liked Square since 12 after being very concerned that it had credit issues. It really doesn't. We use Square at Bar San Miguel, which is how I became familiar with it and one of the reasons why I liked it so much other than listening to Sarah Fryer on CNBC. Um, but Jack Dorsey's now free if he wants to to go full-time at Twitter and I don't know why he doesn't. Uh, I do feel that if you got rid of the anonymous attacks on Twitter, its value would go up, not down, even if the number of users went down. Why do I say that? Because then it would be a more accurate data mining play. Mm -hmm. That has always been the attraction of Twitter, particularly for a Salesforce, which wanted it to be a data mining. I don't expect Salesforce to go back there anytime soon. There was a rebellion among its shareholders when Mark Benioff tried to put a deal together.